Hi everybody. I started it once and had to stop it because it looked incredibly dark in here. So I had to stop it and turn it around. And um, anyways, I was headed out to Walmart and to drop off a payment for somebody. Um, and I uh, realized the Harvesters was here. Um, Harvesters is where our food pantry gets some of their food. Um, it comes from Kansas City. Um, and so it's kind of put on through the food pantry. So for the lady that made the nasty comments about, um, I needed to stick to my food pantry hauls because this was uninteresting. Well, this is a food pantry haul, sorry. But it is. It's just small. Um, the Harvesters comes once a month here to the community, to the senior living complex. Um, and brings uh, different items. We never know what we're going to get. And because of it being holiday, they're here a little early. And it's... Um, Prepackaged boxes, so I don't know what's in them. Don't know if it's going to be same items in each box. They said that some of the boxes are a little different. Um, we were allowed one box or two boxes or three boxes. I told them just give me two. Um, hopefully there's um, some stuff in here I can maybe can or something like that. So I'm going to turn you guys around and we're going to take a look and see what's in these two boxes. And maybe I'll share with you what what you can do with them. Um, and I'll bring you back in just two seconds. Okay, so I have you sitting precariously, whoops, too far back, on a box. Alright, so like it says, it says Fresh Connect Central, whatever. We're just going to kind of sit one on, on the floor. And, um... I heard one lady say, I don't know what that is. I don't know if I want it. It looks like some kind of a fruit. And I looked inside the box and I said, you mean this? What she was talking about was this, guys. How many of you all know what this is? Um, this is a spaghetti squash. And these, I've never had one until a few years ago. And I got to tell you guys, these are... Fabulous. I love spaghetti squash. Um, you can cut these in half this way. So you really want to like find a flat spot of it. Get a good sturdy knife. Cut down through this. Lay it out. You can put it in a dish and put it in your oven. Or you can put it in the microwave one half at a time. However you want to do it. I usually stab the inside of it to death with a fork. Um, season it, butter, um, if I put it in the regular oven, I have foil over the pan, and I cook it until it all falls apart. It is a really good squash. You definitely want to make sure it's cooked thoroughly, um, because it can be kind of stringy and tough if you don't, but once you do get it all off the skin, you can turn around and cook it through a little more once it's out of the skin. I usually, once I can get it loose from the skin, I usually do pull it all off the skin and, and cook it down a little farther. So there's a little um, tidbit on spaghetti squash. And I just bought one to have. Um, and they're on sale at Yosa's for 99 cents a pound right now. And I just bought one and it cost me like, I don't know, three bucks. So... They're a good, heavy, dense squash. Um, we got some apples. Like I said, I don't know if both of them are the same in each bag, but this is a three-pound bag, I'm thinking. It doesn't feel like a three-pound bag. It's not the same. Let me put my glasses on, guys. I'm looking for... Here it is. Yes, three-pound bag of apples. Um, these are the Empire. Um, these are more of an eating apple. Um, you can make apple pies with them. You can make applesauce with them. 
Um, if I had enough apples, I'd make a small batch of applesauce and can it, but it takes quite a few apples to do that with. I have some carrots. I know I got a lot of comments about the uh, carrots that I made that's in my cooking video and um, mashing them down with the brown sugar and butter. They are amazing that way, guys. And of course, I got me some potatoes. Nice, clean. These are some... Um, I'm wondering if the company is called Red, because those sure aren't red potatoes. But I'm assuming that the company is Red. <laughs> what do you guys think? <laughs> I'm going to assume that the company is called Red. Um, it's a five-pound bag of potatoes. And that is that for that box. I am going to put everything back in the box. So this is um, to help anyone that lives in the senior housing community because we do live on a tight budget to get through the month. And this box, either it's packed a little different or whatever, it just feels a little different. Um, yeah, I got different stuff in this box. So I've got another bag of Empire Apples. So, um, still not quite enough to make, um, a whole batch of applesauce to can, but I can make some applesauce. Um, this is a really big spaghetti squash. Um, so there's, there's a second spaghetti squash. And then we have another bag of the carrots. And oh, another bag of the, I'm just going to assume that they are red brand potatoes. And then I got, this guy looks like he might be um, going out of use. So we're just going to put him there. Um, yeah, he might, I don't know. I'll set him aside. But the other ones all look good, except for the end of him. Like I said, um, we we have to watch what we get. We'll put those two in there. These two I'll set aside and clean up and maybe have them later. But, um, so that's what I got from Harvesters. Um, oh my gosh. And that's, that's quite a bit of, um, so I got like 10 pounds of potatoes, 6 pounds of apples, 2 spaghetti squash, um, definitely a couple of, uh, yams or sweet potatoes, and 2 big bags of carrots. And like I said, the carrots, cook them up nice and tender, mash them, put a little bit of brown sugar in them, butter, they're good to go. Um... The same with cooking spaghetti squash. Just cut this in half so that you have like boats shaped. And uh, I stab it really well with a fork. It helps it, um, the heat distribute through it really good. Not the outside, but the inside. Once you have it split, stab the inside really well with a fork. Put it in your baking dish or if you're putting it in the microwave. I usually put a little bit of water in the bottom of the dish that I'm cooking it in, in the microwave. Um, the same within the oven. I put a little bit of water in the dish I'm cooking it in, in the oven. Um, season it. Uh, butter in the little hollow. Make sure you take any seeds or anything out. Um, I usually cook it at like 350 in the regular oven. Um, I have not cooked one of these in my new wave. That will be a challenge for me. I may have to take and cut one of these in half and uh, put it in my new wave. That's something new that I haven't done and I will give it a shot. See how it comes out because I love doing vegetables and things like that in my new wave. So again, just cook it till it's tender. And if you have to, Scoop all the insides out when the this is all nice and soft and the insides are loose. 
scoop it all out into a dish or a kettle if you want it soft, uh, cooked a little softer. By all means, put it on the stove or whatever you need to to finish cooking it. Okay, so I know that, the whoops, you guys fell over. I know that that is a little bit shorter of a normal food haul, but again, that is my um, harvesters that comes here to the community senior housing um, complex. Um, and I just wanted to show you what I got and give you some ideas on what you can do. The potatoes is a no-brainer and different things you can make. Um, I probably will do a video with the potato, um, peanut butter potato candy that my grandmother used to make. It's very sweet though. Very, very sweet. Um, and I have some other videos that I've just got to get them rolled out so that we can just get them up. Everybody, thanks for watching. I'll talk to all of you guys in the comments down below. Bye, guys.